All right, guys, today I got a 2015 Chevy Cruze. If you have Chevy Cruze, Malibu, four cylinder right here, and this one is a turbo, as you can see right there, this is 1.8 liter, one, no, I'm sorry, 1.4 liter right there. But if your car is making a whistling sound like zzzz, and uh, it's really noisy, pretty much what happened was your PCV valve in here, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this, okay? I did this job years back and I noticed if you put your finger right here when the car is running, if you hear a noise like a whistling sound and you put your finger right here, the noise is gonna go away, okay? So what I did was uh, something really monkeyish, probably four years back. I put tape around this to test it and then I drove around the car. What happened, this is your PC valve. It's built into your valve cover gasket. So you do need to replace this whole thing. I'm gonna show you exactly how to replace this whole valve cover right here, okay? So this piece is like $140, the valve cover is gonna come with the PCV valve included and the seal all around it. And plus it's gonna come with the vacuum pipes, okay? So pretty much what you're gonna do is, first, make sure your engine is off. You're gonna take off this right here, this bolt right here and this bolt right here. These are the torques. So. And you're gonna pull on this purple tab right here. And you're gonna push on this and move the connector and this coil pack comes right out, okay? After that, what you're gonna do is, you could take out this dipstick, put it to the side if you like. Yeah, you're gonna have to remove it anyway. It's not by if you, if you like, okay? But anyways, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, it's gonna come with new screws as well, but the bolts, it's gonna come with new bolts. Also, you're gonna have a vacuum line all the way down there, okay? You see this little skinny vacuum line right here? It's gonna come with that as well. And I believe it's gonna come with this fat tubing here. This all goes to turbo here. So one connects right there, let me go around. One connects right there, you can remove that clamp and pull out that, and the other one connects right here. So it's gonna come with all that for 145 bucks. And you're gonna move this out of the way right here. And pretty much this whole cover is gonna come out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a new cover on and then make sure you tighten these bolts in order. So try to get these two and these two evenly flush and then, then crisscross, just cross tighten them. And that's how you're gonna resolve your issue, okay? It's probably gonna be like a 40 minute job, no less than that. But make sure you're not having any leaks afterwards. You see this little bit of a tap of a silicone? Make sure you clean that out and uh, with the blade. And make sure you put a little bit of new one, okay? Because that is what the timing cover is. You're gonna have a few more taps, just like that of a silicone in the back probably over here. So make sure you put a new one in. And make sure you line the gasket really good after that, test it and make sure nothing is leaking. Don't forget to put your ignition coil back in, connect it. While you're in there, make sure uh, your plugs, if they're old, you can change the plugs. I do have a video on that. Make sure you put this guy in. It's gonna take you probably 45 minutes, okay? And then make sure you put this guy back on, same way you took off, okay? And all you do with this is, you line it, and you smack it back, all right? Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.